Okay, now you're going to go up from the bottom box to the switch. Yeah, you're not going in there though, you're going in the switch next door, so go through the wall first. Go through oh, here. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going up from that box to Over the, the switch. switch. Okay, yep. so I want to go through the wall. And then give it about six inches sticking out there and you're good. Into this. Mm -hmm. Do that to the bottom. No broken nails yet? No, thankfully. All right, so. Got a little bit of extra there. Yeah, I got That's a right. Extra up here. That's fine. We'll Sorry. just uh, trim it off when we go in the box. Right, I'm and, and make up this. The, That's fine. Okay, so. All right, so now you want to bring something, you want to bring a wire out of that power, that switch box. This switch? And go up to the light. I, I have something to light. Okay, right. so. So start. All right, so I'm coming out. Yep, go up through there. Oh, so, yep. Then through the wall again. So we're going to go back through the wall to go up into the, uh, the bay that allows us to go up to the light. So you're giving yourself a little extra room there. That's probably All right, so that pretty good right enough? there. Yep, go ahead and pull that through. And you're just working the wire through the wall where you want to go, giving yourself enough room. Sometimes you gotta pull a couple of feet through and then go up and work you keep working it through the holes as you're going through the wall bays and and, and so forth so, that, okay, so this is, gonna go this is just going to get stapled up there and then you're going to follow her over go through that and then into the uh which thankfully you already drilled for me right <laughs> and then all you're going to do is finish up with uh coming through that box and then we got do these uh, push in like those ones do probably so you're just going to push it from outside. The wire might be stiff enough if you just push it in there, it'll just kind of open up and see, see what you can do. If you take the pliers and kind of from the inside pull it down and kind of bend it back, maybe. I'm trying not to break my nails, seriously. <laughs> no, you guys are probably laughing at me. Well, I said any 10 year old, most 10 year olds don't have nails, nails. to worry about, right? Well, I, <laughs> I, I, I really have never done this before. Just watching you, I, what I've learned is, what, is, is since I'm the one doing the filming and the editing, I have watched this tape probably three or four times. There you I go. got a that's, little too much that's again. Plenty. But, okay. That's plenty. That's good. All right. That's it. So, so I got my light. Yep. Down that to your comes switch. here and goes down to my switch. Right. And yeah. which I need to cut off. Yeah, you can cut that off now. Right. So I will do that. Yep. And then I've got my switch, or the switch then comes and goes down to outlet here which gives me power up and right. then I've got my outlet which comes up here yep. to get my power from this box and then this outlet is what's actually coming all the way over from what you call it the home run the home run <laughs> it goes all the way back over up through everything and back down into the breaker panel all right so I'm gonna give this back to Anissa hold on yes I'm definitely more comfortable on the back side of the camera okay. but that was very easy so now you saw it um, didn't break a nail, which is, you know, we didn't have to call 911. So, uh, and she's smarter than a fifth grader because she did it. Okay, so everybody can do this. It's not that hard. Fifth grader, 10, 10 years old, right? So what I, what I can do is we'll go ahead and, and I'll show her how to wire up some of the boxes. And uh, so you can see that she's 
more than capable of doing that, so are you. Just need to know what the rules are and how to get things done. And so we'll be back uh, when we get set up to do the next phase. See you then.